Hello guys, today we are going to discuss about data quality validations and string operations related to this. So currently we can see string operations like for example I am having this type of requirement. So currently I am having a search term field here. So if I click on check I will it will not show any error now. So once I reach 10 characters length more than that then it will start giving the error so now I can see system should not cross 10 characters so here if it is exceeding 10 characters length for this particular string then I am going to get this particular message in the UI so this type of requirements related to string operations we can do from BRF plus completely we don't need any coding so let's see how can we achieve that as we know I have navigated to data quality management for business partners so here we have to go and check validation business rules so validation rules business partners let's go inside this now we can see this is completely empty so I want to create a new business rule of validation so I am clicking on create button here here we have to enter anything like rule id means I will give like business rule means br so br this is search term related right so I am giving like uh, uh, valid date st1 so business rule validate search term 1 like that I am giving here so rule name I can give so rule name means the one which should appear in the UI when when this rule doesn't satisfy when this rule satisfies then search term should not exceed 10 characters like this I will show to the user this is the text I will show to the user now base table means this belongs to BU2000 as we know that, that's why I am just directly selecting BU2000 here so here we can get it so general BU2000 that's it so check the field also we can this is optional so check the field also we can use so I will give here check the field as so field name is field description I know search term search term so I, no matching items so table but triple zero I will keep so we can see all this here we can see bp sort or bu sort let's see such term should be there so here we can see set time one for business partner so I am checking this one now this is checked here we can give this these are all optional I don't want to give you all these now now I am just creating this particular rule here after creating this rule then only we can create usages for this that is the main thing so I am just clicking on create for now that's it now this will get added so usage add is got enabled now here I want to do it for MDG so check in change request I am clicking on this it will add this row now select this and usage action we have to click on prepare so it will take some time okay prepare usage I am going to create this now in in the meantime these two expressions will get created so first one is scope expression second one is condition expression so these are all we know 
now in this scope expression it has to check which condition so i am going to this scope condition so in scope condition we have to check for everything it it should it should have all the scope everything it has to check so i am going to edit mode SAP replaced by operand. I am just changing this operand to default objects and true. I will select. So if true is equal to true, so it will execute for all the steps. So activate this. Now I am going back to previous state. So this has been activated. Now. The condition expression. This is the main thing. So let's go inside this. Now here, go to edit mode. Here we have to change the operand. So first of all, we have to check how many characters are there in the set time one. So in order to check that, we have to do string operation. So in that string, how many characters are there? So that length we need to know. So for that only, the main twist is here. We have to select a new type of expression. So here main create expression. So this is the main one. We have to do that. Here what we do is we have to use formula because we can see here after clicking on this expression, it will ask create object. So I just want to create a formula. We can see here I am creating formula. So what is the name of the formula? Um, so for for now I don't want to make it reusable so that it doesn't ask uh, text and all. So I am directly giving short text as length L -E -N, length of the term length of such term like this I will give text l e n g t h of search term so like this i am giving now create and navigate to object yes i want to save this now we can go back and uh, activate that later now this has been in formula mode so this is the main one this is the main reason we have to use formulas so whenever we are having the requirements related to strings we have this particular option so go to expression and create a formula so in this uh, formula we can see many types of formula functions available by brf plus so currently we are, we want to focus on string operation so i will check here and go to string functions it will filter by category so in this we can see scroll down we want to set check length of the string so now we can see here string length function is there so uh, after clicking clicking on this it will create one selected element here and here result this string length has been added now here this is the cursor so it is like if you click on this it will navigate to here so before this bracket that cursor got moved so we want to add something inside so next now this cursor got moved into the bracket so in now inside bracket what we have to place that one we have to think out think of it so string length means now currently which string length we have we want to take so our requirement is first for set time one so here also string length of set time one we, we want to check it so to add that variables here we have to check into context not formula functions formula functions initially so both we have to combine and create an expression here like formula so scroll down and check now i got this pu sort one click on this it will get added here so here we can see master data search time one is showing here that's it now i will save this formula and activate this 
so no valid data object set has a result that means this particular thing has to result something so here we have to assign that so re return object I want to assign as number so the string length is returns number now now this should not give any error save this and activate now this is activated now go back now go inside this condition now this is this particular function it is giving length of this htm so here I want to add one more thing so here I want here length of this htm this one if we select directly to this it will get added now here any number we can give so if we want to give as 10 then what will happen is it will check if the length of this htm is equal to 10 or not so I want to make it as not equal to like uh, I will make it as not equal to 10 then this boolean is true that means this particular scope will return as true else it will be false we have to make it false in order to show error message to the user so if such term is equal to is equal to 10 then it will return true if it is not equal to 10 then it will return false and then it will show error message to the user like that we can make it changes such that it should uh, it should not exceed 10 characters that means less than or equal to 10 characters if it is less than or equal to 10 characters then it will return true or else it is false so error message will come so let, let's take this save this activate now let's check in the UI so before checking we have to make sure this has been approved by the user so now it has been created but it is not yet been approved it is also not is an enabled state now I will approve this so now it is status in approved state but this is not enabled I will enable this one enable action now this will get enabled now it is ready to test now I will open this theory now go to supplier governance I am going to manage supplier because for this for this CR only I have enabled this validation rules so that is why I am checking for this CR this is inside for, for your information this is inside this configuration configure properties for change request step that is why I am doing this now click on new button organization this will take some time now it has been opened now if you click on check button now all the validations will get executed behind so name one set terms those validation will get executed but this time as we as the set terms length is zero because it is completely empty it doesn't throw any error but once I exceed that count to 10 characters so now it is nine characters long now I am giving one more character now it this its length is 10 characters let's see whether it gives error or not because it doesn't give error it should not give any error because it is equal so now, now let's see I am adding one more now it, it, its length becomes 11 so now I click on check button now we can see such term should not exceed 10 characters so as we expect that business rule it is getting triggered for false condition so like that we have to 
make changes so we can use formulas for string related functions thank you guys for listening bye